Hey my friends, this is Loli. Welcome to Loli These Creations. Friends, today is day six of the 12 Days of Christmas collaboration. We will be doing stockings DIYs. More about this collaboration later on in the video. Let's get on with our project. I'm starting with one of these signs that I got last year doing clearance from Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the hanger and I'm going to go ahead and sand off all of the glitter at the front of this sign. I love this sign because it has grooves on it and it's perfect for what I have in mind. Here I'm just using a piece of craft um, paper underneath of my project because I do not want all the glitter to be in my surface and this helps me have an easier cleanup. My friends, I want to take a quick moment to say thank you so much for clicking on my video. I hope you enjoy it and you find lots of inspiration. As you see here, most of my glitter was on that paper. I'm just being careful to shake it right off onto that paper as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab that craft paper and get rid of that glitter and my surface is nice and clean. All right, so now that this is prepped, I'm going to come in with some ink from Waverly and I'm going to add it to the grooves as you see me do right there. My friends, so this video is part of the 12 Days of Christmas opening by collaboration that is hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY and co-hosted by Amanda from Molly Cole Creations. The links to their channels and to their playlist will be linked in the description box below and also pinned in the comments. Make sure to head on over and show everyone some love. All right, my friends, so as you see here, I'm taking some of my white, black and decker paint and primer and with them dover, I am putting the paint all on those um, slats on there. As you see there, I have some areas that had like dried up paint, so I'm just scraping that off. And I just did this in a step process. Here I'm doing it with the black paint still wet because I did want some of that gray to streak out and add to the character of this piece. My friends, if you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. All right, my friends, here you see I'm drying the paint in between. And now I'm going to come in with another coat of the white. I don't want this to be nice and bright, but I want that to be a layered process. I want it to have streaks in between, places in which you can see the gray, places in which the, the little grooves are faded away. So I'm just doing this in steps to achieve that look. There were some areas in which too much paint got into the groove and you couldn't see that shiplap, shiplap look. So I'm coming in with a skewer, just scraping off that excess paint from those areas and then I'm going to wipe it away using a dry brush. I wanted the sign to be brighter so I'm coming in with some more of that white but I'm using a drier sponge so I don't add as much paint in between the grooves so I have it nicely defined. I painted it here making sure to add some of the paint in between the grooves as well with just a little bit to blend everything in. I'm coming in with my heat gun, drying that layer up and then I'm gonna go a little bit brighter so I'm coming back in again with a pretty dry sponge just to give this more of a brighter look. I did this layering process about four times. Guys, I totally forgot to cover my holes in the beginning. So here I'm coming in with some of this lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree and I'm doing that now. We're not going to be using those holes any longer. Here I'm scraping some more of that paint off. There were some sections in which I still got a little bit too much paint in there. And I did want that shiplap to be shown. Now I'm going to be doing some hand lettering. I'm using here a pen. I should have used a pencil, but I didn't have one at hand. So I just, you know, took a confidence spill and I'm trying it with it. So here I'm going very slowly guys. I did speed up this video pretty much at least four times, but I'm taking my time here and I learned to do script in school. So my hand lettering in, in um, cursive, it is not bad at all. So here I'm just writing on pen, Merry Christmas darling, dot, dot, dot. And then I'm coming in with this felt tip pen or marker from Dollar Tree and we are going to trace all those lines. There were some areas in which I traced it wrong or the letters were smaller than the previous word, but with this marker, I was able to even it out as best as I could. Here, guys, I'm just winging it. You know, I have never done this before. I always see, um, what's the name, Corey from Crafted with Corey doing things with hand lettering. So she kind of gave me the courage to go ahead and try this. If you see here, I'm just going in and putting, you know, making my letters a little bit fatter or chunkier as I'm going, just 
I don't know, there's no rhyme or reason. I just kept doing that until my letters looked good and I was satisfied with the results. My friends, if you enjoyed the video so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope you will also consider subscribing. And if you do, make sure that you hit the notification bell so YouTube notifies you each time that I upload a new video. All these things are free and they mean the world to me. To my amazing subscribers, guys, thank you so much for everything you do. I truly appreciate you. You truly mean the world to me. All right, guys, so here you see how I had made the C a little bit too small. So here with the marker, I made it bigger and I came in with the different words and this is what it ended up like. So now I'm going to take these small little stockings that I got from Dollar Tree. They are for gift cards. And first I thought I was going to use four, but then I felt like, you know what? I need an extra one so I have a nicer space in. So I came in with another one and rearranging them here. And we're going to add one right there to the middle. First, I was thinking of using the strings that they came in with, but then I was like, you know, the height wasn't the same. So I'm going to use some of these metal thumbtacks that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put it in the inside part of the stocking and I'm going to press it down using my finger. This was not easy, guys. It was giving me a hard time. That first one I was able to do after some, you know, major fighting with it. <laughs> the second one here. I'm going to take and I'm going to try with my finger but when I tried it with my finger try pushing it down for some reason it was not budging and it ended up instead of going through it it ended up bending so I took one of my needle nose pliers and that thing and I tried to do it that way that didn't work either it also got bent so I took a third thumb tack <laughs> I'm going to try the same method trying to keep it as straight as possible this time but it just was not working right so I gave up with that and I'm going to take my thumbtack and try one more time just pressing it down with my hands. These thumbtacks, they're not the ones that have like the little nail in the middle in the top of the, the thumbtack if that makes any sense. It's all one piece. So I wasn't like it was going to be coming through and puncture my hand. So I did that for all of them and just making sure that all my little stockings were even. Now here I felt like I needed a little something on the right there or in the left actually so I'm taking three of these little pieces from this big from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put it together as you see there and I'm going to take some jute cord and I'm going to tie the jute cord around the base as of the, the little arrangement I'm trying to make this look like mistletoe so I tied a little knot at the beginning here and then I'm going to wrap the jute cord around that base a few times until it covers that base friends last video i promised you a video about stockings so here i am delivering my promise i am so sorry i'm late i was not feeling well once i reached the end i went to knot it with the other little tail that i left behind using a single knot because i didn't have enough jute for a double knot <laughs> but it's okay i just added some hot glue to the knot right there to make sure it doesn't slip through and then i cut off the extra jute And then I came back and cut off the extra little pieces of the greenery from the top and we're going to hot glue it right there on that corner. Next I took some of this ribbon that I got from Michaels and I'm going to create a tiny bow. What I did, I just did a crisscross um, effect like a witness ribbon leaving two tails on the equal sides and I'm going to Go ahead and cinch my end so it doesn't unravel and then i'm going to take a little piece of wire that i actually cut off from berries that i got from hobby lobby and i'm going to use it as a tie to cinch tips bow in the middle and have it be nicely secured i make sure to twist the cable not the cable the, <laughs> the twist the ah what is it called again the wire very tightly around and then i cut off the excess then i'm pushing it down to the side we're going to add a little bit of hot glue. Never mind. First, I'm going to do the little angled tails. <laughs> I burn the edges and fluff my bow. And now we're going to glue it to the top of the mistletoe right there. And that is it for this one. Oh, wait, wait, no. <laughs> we got to do a hanger. So I'm going to take a long cord or a long piece of jute cord. And I'm going to do a knot on each end of it 
and we're going to employ some hot glue and some masking tape for this so once i knotted both ends as you see right there i'm going to stretch my cord out try to figure out exactly where will be the best place to start wait i cinched or oh, i removed the fuzzies from the cord because you know i'm allergic to fuzzies apparently <laughs> So here I'm adding some jute cord to the board and placing my cord on there and I'm coming in with some of the masking tape as I mentioned before and I'm putting it over this. This just helps this stay in place and it doesn't fall off as if you just use the, the glue by itself. So I repeated the same thing with the other side. If you see I kept the, the twine, I can say that word today, pretty taut so it will be easy to hang. And that's it. Here's the final reveal. My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. If you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion, and you are more than welcome to binge away with this playlist as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. You're amazing. Bye.